Welcome to Obsidian TTRPG Tutorials.com. Let's learn how to use the tool. All right, g'day guys, and welcome back tonight to another Obsidian video. Tonight, we're going to be having another look at the Solo RPG Toolkit by Alex Kurowski. All right, we've, we covered this in the last video, but uh, he's done an update, and I thought it was worthy of its own video. Uh, what he's done is he's given us the ability to make custom card decks, all right? And this is cool because it's... It's not working on the text that it was working on in our previous video. He's done a full update to actually work with images. And what am I talking about? All right, if we click standard over here, all right, so sorry, we should probably just go through, you know, settings, community plugins, browse, do a search for solo, and solo RPG toolkit comes up. Make sure this is installed and enabled. All right, um, and then we're going to dive in. <laughs> All right, what that does is that puts this icon up here on the right. All right, very quickly, just to catch everyone up in case you missed the last video. And this is what we're going to be using tonight. Now, in our previous video, you can come up here to the cards option, the deck, and you can press the standard and you can go shuffle and draw and you'd get a, uh, a sort of a textual uh, image of the card. It certainly wasn't an image. It certainly did not look like this. All right, massive improvements in the results. Um, and check this, you can click the card and paste it into your notes. How cool is that? All right, now I do have a plug in there that was renaming that, but uh, chances are you won't. So that should just probably save you on lots of space. It's copying your, your image straight in. You could put your results in. I think that's a really nifty upgrade compared to what it was last time. If we do the tarot deck, all right, you can see we've got the full, all right. We got lots of different options. Looks like some of these are upside down by the looks of it. All right, but that's just the images that have been used. All right, so that's a nifty little feature. But if we jump into the settings, go to community plugins, come down to uh, Solo RPG Toolkit and click on the options button. You'll see there's some new stuff in here. So there's a custom decks folder. Now I've defined this as Z underscore templates slash decks. It has to be DEX, all right? It has to be DEX with a capital D, all right? But it's got to be, uh, usually like the default is is like this. It's at your root of your vault, as we call it, which will just put it along the, the top level in a folder called DEX. I've updated mine to go into my templates folder, all right? Just so it's out of the way. I probably should have put it in assets, but templates will do. Um, and that's where that's going to go. All right, now. There's an option here you might want to click on as well called enable click to copy on cards. I've turned that on and that's what's enabling that feature for me to click that card and copy it into my notes, which I think is super useful. All right, beyond that though, we've done that. What we can do is go to our files. All right, if we go over to where we put it, so Z underscore templates, we can create a folder. So right click, new folder, call it uh, Dex with a capital D. All right, it's got to have a capital D. And in here, we can basically come in and have a look at all the different things that we're doing. All right, so I've actually created a deck of many things and I've created a Taroka deck. Now, I think I just need to do a reload here because I did this externally. So I'm just going to quickly refresh my Obsidian. Shouldn't take too long, but let's explain what it is that I've done. All right. I'm in my vault now, all right? So I'm in, in my Obsidian PF2E vault. I'm in my Z underscore templates folder. Within there, we've got the decks folder. All right, and in there, you can see I've got a deck of many things and a Taroka deck. All right, so these are two decks that I've just downloaded and uh, basically added in now. You can hit up Google for this. Um, bit of a tip for anyone who's obviously playing with the CLI tool. The CLI tool comes with this handy folder called Dex, which has a heap of decks in it, depending on what you've uh, obviously included. Um, and then, yeah, you can just basically create a folder in your Dex folder, and the folder will be the name of the deck. All right, so the folder deck of many things will become the deck of many things. The Taroka will become the Taroka deck. Any images you stick inside of these will be the options available inside of the application. All right, so if we go back to Obsidian, you can see that's now updated and they're in the right spot. We can come over here to the deck icon underneath the Solo RPG Toolkit, and we now have the deck of many things, and we can go shuffle, draw, draw, draw. Uh-oh, we've broken it. 
draw. Now, this is an interesting learning, and I probably should edit this video right and take it out, but then you guys won't learn anything because I just learned something then, and I want to know what it is. All right, so I've got the WebP format on the deck of many things. That's not working. All right, but if we go and have a look at the Taroka deck, we got PNG files, and that is working. All right, that's a good learning. Um, I didn't know that previously to making this video. And I think that's what's causing this, right? So it doesn't support WebP. It does support PNGs. All right, so you can quite easily convert those. There'll be there'll be tools online to batch convert images. If you just install, uh, do a search for batch convert WebP to PNG, you'll probably find something. Uh, but as you can see, that's all you do is you add your PNG files into your folder. And when you click the button, it gives you a random option. All right, how cool is that? And if you want to copy it, you can basically bring it over here and paste it into your notes. All right. You can see mine's actually just converted to the WebP. All right. Just for anyone who's curious, that is because I'm running the image converter plugin. All right. That converts PNGs to WebPs when I copy them into my notes. I do that to try and limit the amount of space. All right. My vault is taking up because PNG files are much larger than WebPs. Um, but the loss on a WebP isn't that much. But, you know, this plugin doesn't support that. So stick with your PNGs. Um, but yeah, how cool is that? Let's see if we can make another one. Just for the sake of it, just to show you how easy this is. What have we got? We've got another few options here. We've got WebPs. We've got lots and lots of WebPs. Probably not going to use the WebPs. We need the PNGs. Uh, they're all web peas. All right, so let's just jump on Google. For the sake of Googling. All right, let's just go PF2E equipment deck PNG images. All right, I'm just grabbing random files here. All right, I'm just going to put this to the side quickly. Uh, while we're doing that, we're going to open up our... Uh, a folder. All right. If you don't know how to get this, the easiest way to do this, by the way, is just to right click on the folder and go show in System Explorer. That will open up the Explorer. And then from there, you can sort of come in and go, hey, there's my Dex folder. We're going to create a new folder in here. We're going to call the Deck of Random Stuff. All right. And I'm I, just for the sake of simplicity, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some book covers. I'm just going to drag them in. Now it's a, it's a JPEG. All right, let's test that. I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, it wants to rename. This is just Google being painful. Here we go. We've got one PNG. We've got one JPEG. Live testing, guys, you know I shouldn't do it, but I always do. This has got a transparent background, so I reckon that will actually be a PNG. All right, there we go. We got three random images, right? You can download anything. You can make your own images. You can do whatever you want. Um, now we come to this tool. I think I've got to refresh this somehow. There you go. Deck of random stuff. Shuffle it. Or reset it. One, two, three. Three. All right, what that tells me, the JPEG does not work. All right, we can confirm that by having a look at our deck of random stuff. We'll just go into preview mode. All right, we got one JPEG, we got one PNG. Oh, we got one PNG. There you go. So the PNGs are working, the JPEG does not. All right, so, all right, we, we've learned. All right, you definitely need to use a PNG um, in order to get this working. And I tell you what, Look at that, that just works perfectly. And you click on it and you paste it in. Simple, right? Well, let's leave it there. That's that's a quick, useful, very handy piece of functionality that I think the community will find useful, right? You could do random monster generator. You could use random NPC cards. You could do random treasure. Uh, obviously all your Tarokas, your decks, your cards, like there is so many things you can do with a deck, right? Conditions, maybe, like just random conditions in a, in a deck and just pull it on people. Uh, crit decks, fumble decks, people love those, right? Yeah, 
they're popular. Um, but I'm sure you can come up with something, right? And it's so, so easy to do. Some simple Googling, you should find some PNG files that you'll be able to use and you'll be able to make cool fancy stuff to increase the speed of your game. So there you go. That's been another video on the Solo RPG Toolkit for Obsidian.md. Um, look, hopefully you find that useful. Um, you know, if you're making any cool stuff, please do let us know in the comments what you've done with it. All right, I think this is really fantastic. Um, hats off to Alex Karaski for like developing this thing. I've seen a lot of people chatting about it um, and it seems to be getting some very regular updates. Um, Alex, like slow down, buddy. I, I, I can't do a video every week, right? Nah, keep it up, mate. It's fantastic. Well done. Um, anyway, if you're looking for more tutorials, head on over to obsidianttrpgtutorials.com where you can find all of my stuff that's well organized, not really, but it's better organized than my YouTube lists. All right. If you're looking for help, hit this button here and jump into the TG TTRPG community discord. I keep seeing people asking for help in YouTube comments, guys, like it's the worst place to ask for support. Jump in here. You can share screenshots. You can share your notes and we can get to the root cause of your problem a lot quicker. If your question is not TTRPG related, jump into the Obsidian official Discord. There is like a hundred times more people in that server who can answer all sorts of generic stuff. Like if you want to do some advanced taco tech thing with data view, jump into there. If you want to like turn Templator into a robot, jump into there, right? Because that's where the wizards hide. All right, and they'll be able to help you out. Anyway, outside of that, let's keep this short and sweet. Uh, thank you all for your support and I will speak to you on the socials. Enjoy.